This is 20-year-old Raymond Durst, sitting in a police interrogation room in the early hours of Christmas Eve 2021. His girlfriend, Ariana Petarsinski, has just been stabbed in the neck and is fighting for her life in surgery. The only person in the room with her that night was Raymond. This should be a fairly easy case to solve. However, what transpired will leave you speechless. Took the handcuffs off you? All right, listen, we're going to get you out of here. Um, we looked into the case a little bit further, and we're not charging you with anything. What? We're not going to charge you anything right now. Okay? We're going to look into a little further, make sure some things are the way they're supposed to be, so you're going to get out of here. Raymond is clearly shocked when the officer tells him he won't be charged. The surprise takes on added weight when examining the police car footage recorded shortly after the stabbing, revealing indications that Raymond is possibly harboring feelings of guilt. Can I just say something? Can we, can we have a little back and forth real quick? Let's have back and forth, right? My life's over right now. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You see what the situation I is. I don't know what the situation is. I've been outside with you. Okay. What do you think the situation is? I don't know. I don't want to assume. Do you see what I'm covered in? Okay. What happened? I, I don't know. I, I can't. I'm not going to say something because I know. Well, I've seen you the day that they're fighting you, so I don't know. Look, all right, you don't know, but I know. But okay. Well, I mean, the situation is like, my life's over. I'm 20 years old. I, I love that. I love it. I want to hug. Fuck the man. I don't deserve one. Do you know what federal prison I'd go to? Prison. Why do they do that? Why is it so brutal and violent? I deserve it. The statement from Raymond that his life is over and he deserves it is unsettling. While not a complete confession, it provides psychological insight into his connection to the stabbing and his feelings of guilt. But I have, a, I have, uh, I want to ask you something. Is it, is it okay if we take pictures of what happened with you? Um, since we don't know if you happen to be a victim of something, we'd like to have evidence of that too. So if you don't mind, we'd be, be able to take pictures of you. Of your injuries and stuff that you got hurt? Do you know anything? Yes, but just, do you know anything about her? As far as I know, she's still in surgery. They're still working on her. Do you know what time it is? 7.30. Actually, 7.35. And I know it seems scary that she's in surgery for a long time, but it's they take their time to make sure everything's the right way, so sometimes things take quite a long time. So she's still okay. She's still in surgery, and we don't know anything more than that. Um, so if you're okay, the, what, what, we, what we'd like to do is, you're pretty bloody, your clothes are pretty bloody, we'd like to grab those two and we can give you something to wear, we'll take pictures of you, and if you don't mind, we'll get a buckle swab from you, which is like a DNA sample. It's no big deal because you're together with her, you're in the same house. Yeah. So we really don't, like, yeah. yeah, but it's just procedures we like to follow. So if you're okay with that, we'll do that, and then when we're done, uh, we'll get you, get you out of here. Is that is that okay for you? You okay with that? Yeah. Uh, what is particularly surprising in this case is that Raymond was the only individual in the room with his girlfriend when she was stabbed. Despite this, the sheriff seems to treat him as the victim. What does this mean? Never right, right now you're here. just they're not being charged. What do you know? Right? We just. We, you know, like you think we want to screw you, but that's not the case. We want to make sure we do everything right. So if there's something that you need to be held responsible for, you will be. But if there's not, you won't be. So instead of rushing into something and, 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 and you know, doing all this stuff, we decided to back up and, and take our time a little bit and look into it a little bit further. The investigation seems poorly conducted. Despite Raymond exhibiting signs of guilt and being covered in her blood, he was never read his Miranda rights, and no real pressure was applied. Uh, because there's always things maybe we don't know about, okay? So, uh, you know, that's what we're going to do, and so I'm, I'm glad you're, they took that stuff off you and you've been sitting here, okay? 
So I'll go out and there's a forensic tech who's going to come in here and help do all this stuff. So if you just give me a minute, I got to go find her, get our stuff together, and I'll come back in. Okay. Okay. What if they want to? Sorry. What if they no. want to like charge me? I'm not like at work. I'm something. I'm doing. If they charge you later, they're going to charge you. I, it's not. I'm not really the lead on this case. I'm assisting the detective. Um, but you know, as so long as you. We, you, I mean, if you're cooperative with us and you keep in touch with us, I mean, we have no reason to come jack you up at your business or if, wherever you're working at. I mean, if crazy. something has to happen, you can run all you want. We'll come get you wherever you are. You know what I mean? It's not, yeah, it's just, you're a young kid. I mean, what, it's not, if you run away, it's, it doesn't make no sense. If something's going to happen, you, running isn't going to solve the problem. No, I just think you know they come and arrest you. Uh, it depends on who you're talking to. Like, I could call you, like me, if you've been straight with me, I'll call you on the phone and say, listen, this is what we got to do. When can you do it? And if you do what I need you to do, we're good. And if you don't, I get a warrant and I'll track you down. You know, other guys, they get scared because they don't know what you're going to do. Are you going to run away? Are you going to do this? So they'll just get a warrant and come get you. So I don't know what this detective will or won't do, but you going home is a good thing. So that we can look into this a little bit further to find out what's really going on, and you know what I'm saying. And if any other time you want to talk or say something to us, you let us know, and we'll talk to you. Okay. You good for now? I just Do you have any other questions or? I, yeah, I. You probably got a ton of questions. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Um, I don't have any underwear. And okay. I, <laughs> it's cool. Uh, if. You, we have, well, we don't really have clothes per se. We have what's called a Tyvek suit. It's like one big jumpsuit and it zips up. And it's it orange? It, no, it's white. Okay. Well, at least it's the last ones I know that we had are white, but it's not orange. <laughs> it's not like a, like a jail jumpsuit or anything like that. It's just white. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a painter suit. Like when you're painting a house, you get into that suit. Uh, and that way it'll give you just something to get back to the house with. And then your car is there and everything. So, you know, you can grab your car and um, do what you need to do. Yeah, all my stuff, like my wallet, my keys, my bag, my clothes, and my house. Okay, um, well, we got some things that we're going to do at the house, uh, but I don't see any reason why you can, once we do our initial stuff, we can't get you that to, to, to get out of here. Okay? So. Is, is there any way to like, be in the loop with her condition? Raymond inquires about Ariana's condition, and this could be interpreted in two ways. It might suggest genuine remorse and concern for her well-being, with the hope that she survives. Alternatively, it could indicate him weighing potential jail time in the event of her death versus her survival. He doesn't appear to exhibit much remorse, maintaining a relatively calm demeanor and showing little emotion. That's going to be up to her family. I mean, while you're here, I can tell you what I know because I hear it, and I can keep you up to date that way. But once we're out of here, you can't call the hospital because they're not going to talk to you. You're not family. You know, so if you don't go through the family, you're not really going to know. And I know they're upset right now, so they're probably not going to tell you. But, you know what, I mean, she, she's, if she recovers fine and she gets through all this, then she can probably call you on the phone if she wants to talk to you. So, you know what I mean? So... It's more going to be like a waiting game for you, and I know that's the worst part is trying to wait, because I can tell you're really anxious about all that. But right, you just gotta kind of relax for right now. Things are not going to go super quick. It's going to take a little bit of time to try to get to a spot where she's able to, you know, do something and talk. You know, like I said, I don't know how serious everything is. So right, right. Oh, there she is. Okay. This individual from the forensics team has the task of collecting as much evidence as possible. This involves taking Raymond's clothes, photographing potential injuries on his body, and fingerprinting him. Right. She's just going to tell you the things she needs you to do, uh, and if you just follow along with whatever she wants, uh, he said everything is okay to, to okay. do what we want. All right. uh, and then we'll get him home. Yeah, what kind of suit do we have? We have a, we have a White suit or something. I'll have to go find one. Yeah, because we're going to need something. Yeah, so before I do that, I'll go get that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Who are you living with up in Ocala? My grandma. Your grandma? Where's your parents at? Stewart. Oh, they live in Stewart? It's pretty far down. She's 
she's there right now. Oh. She's in sewer? No, my mom's up here. Oh, she's up here? Oh, for the holidays? How come you moved up here to stay with your grandma? Because my mom moved. Oh, okay. She moved from your grandma's house down to Stewart? New Jersey. Oh. How long did you live up there for? Five years, six years. So where were you born at? Spain. Spain? Wow. Is your father here? No. 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 The absence of a father figure can lead to challenges in forming relationships and regulating emotions. Without a father's influence, there may be an increased vulnerability to participating in criminal activities. The extent of Raymond's father's absence throughout his life could be a contributing factor. I saw him in the handcuffs last time. I've seen him. At the house? Probably because we didn't know what the situation was when we first showed up. You know, we, everything's so crazy, we don't know what's happening. So, he's not handcuffed. What do you need to do? So we'll just get some pictures of you. Maybe get you standing right here in this wall. Allegedly, Raymond slashed Ariana's throat in her room and then dragged her by her hair into her parents' bedroom, where he confessed to them that he was responsible. It is also claimed that he aggressively charged at Ariana's father, Eddie, shortly after the stabbing. A scuffle broke out between the pair, and Raymond sustained some surface cuts and bruises. Got any injuries on your arms or anything? Yeah, I mean, right there. I don't know which ones are visible, but there's one right there. Okay, well, let's get that photo. Which is easiest for you to hold it out that way, or? Yeah, I can come over here. Like this for you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Stay by me. One more here. Okay. And do you have any on your chest or your back? I don't know. On your neck, is this a cut? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get that for you. And then you mind if I check your chest or your back just to make sure you don't have anything? Okay, let's see your back. She's just going to swab right here on your neck where you got your, 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 your cut, cut on the neck. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's freezing in here. What are you looking for? This is just stuff that we we get in case there's any questions or, like I said, if you were a victim of something and somebody did something to you during this whole encounter, we'll have a documentation that you also were injured. Um, because if you leave and we don't have any documentation of anything, then obviously, you know, what can we say? You know, it's already healed up later. So if we just do everything now, we don't have to worry about it. Why does it matter? What's that? Why does it matter if anything happened to me? Well, I mean, we don't know anything happened because nobody's talking to us. You see, you know what I'm saying? So to hear about it later after it's already over is kind of too late. So since we don't know enough, we do everything we can now. And whatever we don't need, we don't have to worry about it. We just get rid of it. Uh, but at least if we get it now, if something comes to light later, we can always say, well, we have this, uh, and that will work. <coughs> Who's hurt? Who's hurt? Did these hurt? No. These? No. Oh, no. It's just water. Everyone gets scared. I think I'm going to COVID test them, but I will not. you have any experience with these kinds of injuries? 
and the surgeries that come along with them? I'm not a doctor, so I don't, I mean, I hear about stuff all the time, but I don't know all the procedures that they got to follow. I'm just wondering if this is uncommon for it to be this long. This what? I'm just wondering if it's uncommon to be this long. Oh, for surgeries? Oh, yeah. I've been in the hospital where I had to wait seven, eight hours. For surgery? For surgery to be finished on people. But they have different types of injuries. This particular one, I, I, don't, I can't say I had one similar to this. So but I've had that. I've had other I've had other instances where somebody's gotten shot, and they've had this do surgery for so many hours, and we just have to sit in the hospital and wait. They survived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that point's a really good hospital. They got some really awesome doctors there. So, Pay, paying that paying point. that point. So it's a it's a good thing that. Uh, we'll start with your right hand first. I'll try not to get that too bad. You know, it probably hurts. Um, is there, like, will you find out? About what? What happens? Yeah. Eventually we'll figure it out once she gets to where they know they can tell something. Once the hospital gets done doing surgery and they can give us an update, mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably end up getting one. I can't call you and tell you though. But can I call you and ask? I can't release that information. Here we're okay because we're here doing this now, but once you leave and we're done here, I can't just give out information. What if I come here? And, no, you don't understand. I, just, I can't tell you. I'm not allowed to. Why are you allowed to? Yeah. Because now we're in the middle of something, so I think that we're here together. <clears throat> and I know you're concerned, so you know I, I can say, hey, she's, she's doing okay. They're doing Sorry. surgery on her, but you know that's going to take a while. I mean, I don't even know. I don't have any more details than that, to be honest with you. You know, this is this, well, is, this isn't my blood. What's that? I, we know that's not yours. But I already told you that. So I mean, it's not about all that. You know, we know that you, you know, you try to help. And then the left hand. So I was getting charged with what, aren't you? Well, the charge that they we're going to charge you with is, and actually it's domestic because you guys are dating. It's like dating violence. According to Florida statutes, dating violence refers to acts of violence between individuals who have currently or previously maintained an intimate relationship. To meet this requirement, the relationship should have endured for a minimum of six months. In the case of Raymond and Ariana, they were dating for approximately one year. So it's kind of a domestic incident. Is that where it's lateral? No. All, all that would have meant was, uh, you know, when I told you we would have had a bond, when it's domestic, you don't have a bond until you see the judge. Then the judge would set a bond for you. I didn't realize it was domestic when we were talking. So because of that, that's the only thing that's different. Well, it doesn't make it worse or better. So what is it? Is it just domestic, because you guys are dating. Domestic what? Domestic violence. Okay. Um, so it's still aggravated battery. But it's just domestic. If, if, if me and you got into a fight and, and you hurt me bad to make it an aggravated battery, it wouldn't be domestic because we have no relationship. But because you have a relationship with your girlfriend, it becomes a domestic thing. So that's why it shows up that way. You charge me with that because you're under the presumption that it did cause the injury to her? We don't know what happened. That's why we, at first, when they brought you in here, that's what the detective was looking at appropriate charges, but we talk to some people, we consult each other, we try to get more information on the outside to figure out which direction we should go right now. And it, the decision was not made by me. It's just made by other people saying that we're gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything right now. We're just gonna, we're gonna wait a little bit and look into it a little further. And why? Because that's we would rather just do that to be more thorough than to just rush to judgment. I mean, as as much as you know, we want to get we want to know the truth, and that's not what it comes down to. If the truth is that it it's not the way it looks, we want to show that so that nothing happens to you. If you made a mistake or something happened, and 
things got out of hand and there's something that you need to be held responsible for, then we want that too. And it's not that we want to railroad you, it's just everybody makes mistakes, you know? So, you know, if you made a mistake, then that's what it is, it's a mistake. And if it, it, if it means you have to be held responsible for something, then that's what you have to do. But we're not out to railroad anybody or jam you with anything. Where this, where the sentences look like for your domestic violence? It's domestic is it's not gonna matter. What do you mean? Domestic is just a title. It does not gonna mean you're gonna get this much time or that much time. So sometimes you don't even get any time. You get probation. It just depends on certain circumstances. <coughs> so I can get life. Life for this? No. She dies. Huh? She dies. Oh well, again. If you've done something to cause that, then yeah, that's a possibility. Well, if you come to that conclusion. I can't say because I don't know until we get there. And even then, I can't say what's going to happen to you because it's up to the judge, not up to us at all. Oh, sorry. Thanks. No, you're fine. <clears throat> this is just for us. When they take a bubble swab, we don't want our DNA mixed in with your DNA to make, make a false whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, get the wrong stuff mixed in. <clears throat> yeah, the courts are funny, dude. You, you, I can't sit here and tell you what this is and that is. It's just different for every person in every situation. Um, could you spell your last name for me? C A L D C A L D E R O N. D E R O N? Yes. Okay. And your first name? Ramon. Disorder shift, right? R A M O N. And your middle name? No, no, no. No middle name? How do you spell his last name? Alder? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard it wrong. I'm tired. Oh. I thought I heard a different letter. You're fine. I was um, like, oh. Your social security number? And your birthday? July 19th, 2001. Does it matter if, like, does anything matter if she drops the charges? Raymond appears focused on getting the charges dropped against him, showing little concern for Ariana's condition. Tragically, she could not be saved and died from the stab wound on her neck. The medical examiner officially declared her death a homicide. There was no charges right now. Well, so if there were. If there were, as a victim, she has a right to change her mind and not pursue if she doesn't want to. Do you let them know that? Yeah, I'll make them know that. Not all people know that. Well, they don't necessarily know it without us being told. That's what I'm saying. And you tell them? They tell them. They're getting told. We ask them if they want to pursue charges or if they don't. <clears throat> you know when she went into surgery? I have no idea. I know she went to a, well, I'm not sure. I got there, uh, so I don't remember. Uh, it's, it's, he had been there a couple hours. What time is it right now? It is 7.59. Thank you. Uh, I guess maybe around 2-ish, 2.30 maybe. And that's just a guess. Yeah, it could be a little later, a little earlier. I'm not really sure. Okay, so this just goes on the inside of your cheek, and it's just gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere near. It's not painful, I promise. And then there's one more on the other side, and that's it. Yeah, I kissed her. You do what? I kissed her. She was bleeding. Up. Okay. Raymond seems anxious during the DNA swab procedure. However, given their relationship, it's anticipated that Ariana's DNA will be found. The officer reassures him not to worry. Are you telling us that because of the DNA? Yeah. Because it's okay. You, my DNA on you. Oh, no, that's okay. You guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. We don't expect to find anything different. <laughs> yeah, we know you guys are together, so, I mean, it's not going to be surprise if your DNA is on her and her DNA is on you when you guys are going out together. Um, so I'm going to drive you there? And yeah, okay, we're going to drive you back. 
Yeah. 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 We're not just going to send you over there on your own. Believe it or not, one of the primary reasons the detectives refrained from charging Raymond was the lack of evidence. Also, the detectives believed that the stab wound may have been self-inflicted. In Ariana's room, deputies discovered a notebook with a drawing dating back 15 months, depicting a girl with her throat cut and blood coming from her mouth and neck. Ariana had an interest in horror movies and artwork. Detectives appear to have concluded that this drawing points towards the possibility of self-harm. Their family back there? No, there's somewhere different. So what happens? Like, did they clean the scene? No, no, they're just they're still at the scene. So the deputies are still there. So when are they allowed to come back? Um, well, they're kind of helping us. What? Well, not helping us, but they're allowing us to go in the house <coughs> to take pictures and you know just do the things we need to do as investigations. And it says as soon as we're done that, then we just take everything down and everybody can come back to the house or do whatever they want to do. Would it be illegal to have contact with the family, with her family? Um, I can't say you can or can't. I mean, that's, I can't. I can't say don't. Raymond is then directed to remove his clothes, which are collected for evidential purposes. He is then provided with a Tyvek suit, a moment that the officer seems unusually enthusiastic about. Let's see back there. Do you have a car over there? Yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering. His car is the one right in front of the house with okay. the jersey tags. Okay. His All keys right. are in the house, though. Okay, I know. We'll have to get the keys out, but I was making sure he had a means to get out of Dodge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his car, everything's over there. He needs right. to go. Okay. So you can have a seat here real quick. All right. Um, so she's done. I'm going to go out with them. I'm going to get with whoever we have to figure out how to get you back over to the house. And as soon as we do that, we'll get you on your way. Okay. It's been only 12 hours since the stabbing. Yet the focus appears to be on ensuring Raymond's comfort and making sure he is not inconvenienced by the whole thing. They assure him that he will retrieve his phone and keys from the crime scene, and they even offer to give him a ride back. One might question why these items, potentially crucial for the investigation, are being handed back so soon. Are you going to give me my wallet and my phone? Um, is that all at the house, too? Yeah, we'll figure something out when we get over there and charge your wallet. Is, your wallet, is everything all together someplace? Sure, but it's in the room. Okay. Yeah, we won't be able to let you go in the house, but we can grab it and give it to you. Yeah, I need my phone, too. Your what? Your phone? Yeah. Okay. What kind of phone is it? An 11. iPhone, iPhone 11. 11? Is it, does she have a phone, too? It's, it, it's not the same, right? No. Mine's a clear case. Okay. Okay. Then we should be able to have no problem with that. The officers leave the room, and Raymond is left alone. In the ensuing silence, the weight of the situation triggers a whirlwind of thoughts. His mind seems to start racing, and he shows some interesting behaviors. Together. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Fuck. There's so much fucking. Please, my hand. Do you have a stronger than you are? I swear if we get through this one more area right now. Just I'm gonna get through this. Let's go. girl. Let's go back girl.
I get them. No, oh my God. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm tired. I've been up for 24 hours. Um, would you like a water or an energy drink or something? Just a water, please. Just a water, bottle of water? Okay. All right. We'll get going here. we got to go out to the scene, but we'll all just kind of caravan out there at the time, okay? So sit tight for a few minutes, and then once I get my people moving, we'll all head out of here. I'm to get you something if you want something. Here you go, man. You gotta go to the bathroom or anything? Okay. All right. in her room? Everything's in her room. Okay, what's your key fob look like? Has it got something on it that's unique or something? When I look at it, I go, that'll be your keys? A leather strap. Like a leather strap? Like, like a loop. Oh, like a loop? Like a... Yeah, with a snap closure. Okay, okay. Bunch of keys on or just a couple? Just a couple. Okay, all right. I'm going to have him leave in like 15 minutes. And the only reason you're leaving 15 minutes behind me is that I don't want her family and you interact and you know what I mean? Are they there? Um, I don't know that they're there but I don't what I would like to do is just get there when you pull up in his truck I hand you your, your keys and then you can get the hell out of there you know what I mean? Can I have my wallet and my phone? Are you ready? You can grab your water if you want. You don't need handcuffs or nothing like that you're not under arrest or anything so I'm just going to give you a ride back to the house with the key going. The state's attorney's office opted not to charge Raymond, stating in a letter that the ongoing investigation revealed no probable cause for his arrest. The case remains open, and no new suspects have been questioned or arrested. There are several Facebook pages set up demanding justice for Ariana. Hopefully one day, her family will get the justice they deserve.